This is Jamal Crow. You know, I want to direct this my message to Biafrans, especially those who are abroad. Um, you know, they say that we Biafrans are Republicans. That means uh, that we can, you know, accommodate others and allow others to say their mind. We are not feudal like someone sitting in the top and the rest will be bound down to him. And the person have the final words. We believe in democracy. Live and let live. So this time, we have been in Nigeria for all this while, hoping that Nigeria will be better, that we will live in peace, and that we will progress in Nigeria, progress both economically and, and our well-being. But it is not, like, as you can see, it's not shortcoming. That's why most of us are scattered all over the world. It doesn't matter where, Australia, America, in, um, um, Europe, Asia, and in many other places that we find our people because we cannot live in our land. We cannot develop in our land. We cannot grow in our land, especially to our full potential. So we left that country because of uh, people who, I can call it gangsters, because you cannot say um, it's not only because one tribe or one group of people want to dominate, even though it seems to be like that, but no one can in Nigeria can do it without involving others. So um, the Fulanese always have been the one because of their ideology in you know feudal system and in religious ideology and they believe in elimination, eliminating others. Our people, we don't have that mentality. We don't have that ideology to kill others in order to progress. We can believe that live and let live. We can believe, believe, we believe that you can progress even if, let's compete. Show what you can do. If you are better than me, so be it. But they don't believe in that. They believe in taking you out in order to move forward. That's why they involve every other person that they can convince or they can, you know, um, force to believe that ideology in order to get the numbers they need to, to perpetrate their evil actions. To cut the long story short, we Biafrans have been marginalized, killed in Nigeria, and we are not wanted. The only reason why they leave us to, to be is because they could not kill everybody. And they need us. They don't need us, actually, but they need what is in our land. If there is a way they can finish all of us, I don't think me and you will survive up to today. They could have killed our, our fathers and grandfathers before we even, even come to Earth. Me and you know that. So now, having said that, Believing that we don't have a leader who can lead us out of the promise, out of that evil that we find ourselves, out of that evil forest, I can call it, up to the time we got one, good one, who is consistent, truthful, 
who have consistently been almost 99% accurate in his predictions, in his actions. I don't say that Mazen Namdekano that I'm talking about is perfect, but he has shown that he can lead. He has the wisdom. He has the knowledge. He has the wherewithal to lead. But no one can lead without followers. That's why he needs everybody. He started by organizing us, you know, uniting us in truth and honesty. Then he told us exactly what to do in order to achieve what we want. Most of us believe him, some of us doubted, and he, con he persisted, he continued, because he knew that one day you will get, you will find the truth, and that truth shall set you free, and you will join the moving train. Along these all these years, a lot of people are joining in. The good one, the good, the bad one, the ugly ones. Then he made a structure, and that structure in IPOB stands and is moving, sorting the bad egg out from the pack. Some are still there trying to pretend. Others are honest and upright. That notwithstanding, now the things they have been telling us about the danger we might find ourselves at a point, the danger of people, you know, invading us and taking over our land. Some people think it's not possible. Some people already got the message and say, yes, we can see the signs. Let's, what are we going to do? He told us that we have been fighting defensive wars or trying to defend ourselves, defend our culture, defend our land. But this time, we have to be proactive. See things, stop it before it escalates, before it's too late. But it requires a lot of resources, a lot of commitment, a lot of persist uh, precision, you know, resoluteness and all. Some of us say no. You know, it's not because when they look at the economy, they say, no, they don't want to to do that, or it's not possible, or, you know, just trying because it's not them. Maybe their aim is to just to be there and squander the money and just forget about the struggle and let the people suffer. But Mazen and they kind of persisted and said, this is not the way. He wants to lead us up to the point that we will be free. And then he has his promised he will stop. Not stop him to leave, but he will let others lead from there. Because it's very, very as I as I can see too, as you can see that if not somebody who has the wisdom and the perseverance Somebody might lead us and, you know, desert us along the way. Because there's a lot of things going on on that table that you don't see. The Nigerian government and all the enemies of Biafra, they are not sleeping. They are doing everything they can in order not to let us 
you know, organize ourselves. They have tried a lot of things, ways to divide us. They use the politicians, they use the lobby, the rest of the world to see us, to paint us black. They pretend, they lie, they, they do everything. But it takes a, a very stubborn and consistent leader in order to, you know, stand all these pressures. And Mazen and the Kano has, by the grace of God, have been, been able to withstood all this. But he as well with our support and he need more of our support. Sometimes what could have been said in secret were being said in the open because he wants to convince you. Let's say some of us are adamant. We don't want to believe or we pretend that you know I don't know up to now that we can see that what he has said about the enemy coming all out to kill us is manifesting. And some people are still, you know, docile. They don't know where to belong. Why wasn't then they can have set up this um he have set up this IPOB structure to follow. But still you want to go go and f get your own. Why are you trying to get your own? Who is going to follow you? Is this you you know you have a pack of people. Everybody is following one line. You deviate, you want to follow your own, and still be taking people, followers from those pack. Why do you want to divide the pack? I don't understand. Why can't you follow structure and let us be stronger? You want to go on your own, start soliciting for fund. Why in IPOB we need that fund to move faster and get to where we are going? We don't have time. We must make here while the sun shines. If not, in no time, they will consume us. These people are very crafty. They are very cunning and they are determined. So please, I'm using this opportunity or this platform to beg all of you, please, whatever. Because I've seen a lot of videos in social media soliciting for fund, you know, saying things that have been said before. This is bringing us back. Come in the fold. If you have any reason to solicit for fund, do it according to the laid principles of IPOB. My people, there's no time for gossip. There's no time for, for I, I know too much. I know better than you. I'm older than you. I'm a leader. I'm, I'm, a, I'm that and that. Forget all these things. When we, we get the land, then we can struggle for, 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 for math. Let's prepare the ground first. Those time we come, if you want to lead, you can organize yourself, have a political party, then move on, go and, you know, if you got elected, you can lead from there. Because the main aim is to, for our first, to have our fundamental right, you know, protected. Our children's life, our culture, protected, to move our country forward. If you have a problem with the men we are answering, when we get what we are looking for, then we can vote or change the name to whatever people think that is better. So my plea is so let's stop all these things and wake up now before it's too late. We must unite now. I've been a member of IPOB since 2012. 
I've been contributing. I've been following. Normally, I don't follow any how I, I see things. I have to look into it, criticize it in the beginning. But if I see that there's a way here, I move forward. Do you understand me? I can see that Mazen Nandakanu is truthful. He's steadfast. He's determined. He's unviable. He knows what he wants. And we need that kind of his stubbornness in this struggle. If not, he could have compromised and forget everybody along the way. But he knows he loves his people. From what I can say, what I have understood about him. And now it's, there's no time to, to even consider any other thing apart from joining our hands together and move fast forward and out of this mess we found ourselves. It is not easy. It's not going to be easy. But it's worth it in the end. You know what to do. There's IPOB family everywhere you are. If not, call, contact me through this medium. I'll give you my direct number. You call me. I'll direct you. I'm one of the principal officers. I must tell you. So I'm begging you to please stop all these distractions. Every day you see another video that doesn't even help in anything. I don't want to start coming in to tell a lot of stories what have happened. Let our people say that let everything that bite in the night be regarded as a mosquito. Let bygone be bygone. Let it out of your chest. Give it a try. You will never regret it. I tell you the truth, we have been in this struggle for all these years. And you know how how our people are. If not, we could have you know disbanded. It could have been a, a thing of the past. We all you like a social club whereby we meet and you know uh, have fun and just go away. And our people are still moving away, going to many countries and doing everything we could have been doing in our own land. We can do it. If we know you can do better, what haven't you done it before? The word is enough for the wise. If you think and you you say you're wise, this is this is the time you show you that your wisdom. They see it. I'm begging you. You're a professor. You're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a lawyer, you're everywhere where you are because you escaped, escaped the zoo. That contraption, you escaped it and you go, you go away. Now it's time for you to, you know, because if not, that's your land, you, you don't have it anymore. You don't have a place to go. All your colleagues who are Europeans, they can come back to Europe and have fun in their country and go back. Asians will go to Asia, stay and come back to where they are. The Middle Easterners will do the same, but you, you cannot, because you, you will not have a place to go. This is the time for you to wake up and be wise. Passing cease is not passing sense. My dad told me that. I hope this message gets to you and gets to you well, so that you may wise up and sit up. Thank you and may God bless you.